Scott's Wild Camper, the wild camping channel for the great outdoors. Back out. <laughs> no, I can't say that, Mr. Wardle. I can't say that. I take it back. But I'm back out for my hundredth wild camp. And as you can see, it's a beautiful day. Sun is shining. Not. Yeah, it's very uh, dreary and miserable. That's what the well, that was what the forecast was, and that's when I looked at my window. And uh, before I decided to go, it looked, you know, it just started raining literally as soon as I got outside my house. But I knew that, I expected that. It's not a surprise. It's going to be a pretty. Ah, uh, miserable hike in, I think, or wet. There's a familiar site, Cocknell Hill, Greenside Reservoir, one and a half, what is that, one and a half miles, or one and a half to something. I'm not going there, I'm going up here. I'm going to head up to the slacks, it should take me, I don't know, an hour. I'm not a good judge or uh, my memory. As you probably know if you watch me, my memory's terrible. I've no idea what date it is. I know it's Sunday. Right folks, this house I've been coming here since 2012 and that house is still being built and I don't know how many years before that they probably started working on it so that's at least what, well, say six years at least it's looking a wee bit but certainly no six years work I mean I don't know what they they must be working on it you know, whenever they get money, you know, a couple of weeks work and then leave it for three months, you know, it's never going to... I don't know if that's ever going to get finished. There's Mark getting his gaiters on. They're just about to head off into the Kilpatrick house for an overnighter. Anyway, at last, this is the start of the, the hill walk, or the walk out, out in the hills, or what I consider the start. I've been hiking for about 15 20 minutes. I'm knackered, I'm totally unhill fit. Then now, I've had a pretty, to be honest, I've had a bad year so far. <laughs> I'll, I'll just leave it at that, but I've not had a good year. Anyway, onwards and upwards into the mist and the rain. Walk on by, walk on by. Yeah! If you see me standing on the street having a greet, eating a pie, walk on by. Yes, walk on by. Oh, walk on by, please. Ah, the isolation in the mist. It's driving me crazy. The isolation is driving me crazy. Yeah, good stuff. Why is that enclosure there? The land's the exact same, the ground's the exact same. 
uh, interesting, very interesting. Right folks, it's not a very uh, exciting <laughs> trip from a hundredth wild camp, but I'm sort of, I'm half glad it's a more bog standard trip for me, as uh, Mark said. Why Explorer? You know, he went to a camp recently, uh, he was talking about that, you don't have to go miles and miles away, hundreds of miles away from where you live, or it doesn't have to be, you know, 3,000 feet up, or to be a, a, a good trip, you know, just a, a trip out, just a wee trip out somewhere, far away out, out enough for the city that you've got a wee bit of, you know, isolation obviously, and you've got the feeling that you've, you know, you're a, away from the world for a short time, that's all you need. I don't think I'll be taking much more footage. There's nothing, I mean obviously you can, there's nothing to see. <laughs> Just mist. I will take, I will be doing a few more vlogs, but I don't know about how much footage I'll be taking till I get my tent up. I've got a few videos to do, gear videos I might do. I don't know what you're seeing folks, I've not got my screen on, my wee screen for this Sony, so I'm doing it blind. All right, chaps, I'm on my own. I'm going to take this hill by myself. Thank you very much. Plenty of water on the hill today. It's about half four. It was pretty grey since about three o'clock. It was just very, you know, the light just, it's that dull and grey. The darkness in there, as well as the rain, it's just, you know, the humidity, I think it's about 100%. Good stuff. There you go. We all need water. Here I am at the Greenside Reservoir. I think my... My first bit of footage, I said I wasn't heading up that way. I meant to say I wasn't heading in that direction. I was always heading here. I was always heading, I'm heading to the slats. Can't remember if I said that, that's up that way. Right into the, <laughs> right into the nothingness. Up there, is the slats, that's where I'm heading. It's a beautiful day, so far. Up there's the Greenside Reservoir, that wee flat top bit of ground that you can see in the middle, middle of your screen. And here we are. The Greenside Reservoir. As I said, you might have seen this view many times before. There's nothing wrong with seeing it again. Beautiful. 
Fantastic. <laughs> I'm out and I'm happy. What more can you ask for? I'm sure that's a good photograph for a professional photographer. Maybe it's just a bit too misty and grey. It's certainly moody. I'll end up on head. It's really hard, but I think I'm just going to cramp at the slats. I don't think I'm, you know, it'll take me another hour and a half to get to you. It'll be dark by the time I get to you. Uh, and it's pretty dark now. <laughs> and it's. You know, it's not really night time, it's just that grey. So I think I'll just I'll just be camping up here somewhere. I was hoping to get to uh Middle Duncombe, which is a lot further out. But I think I'll just leave it. Up there will do me. Up there and probably I'll have to go back down a wee bit to the other side to find a pit spot. But I don't think I'll I don't think there'll be anybody else out on the hill today. I think I'll be the only one. Right folks, I've done it again. Uh, I should be at the summit of the slacks by now. I'm on this path, I followed this path. But uh, I think when you start the, the hike up the slacks, there is a couple of ways to go. I think there's three ways to go. Uh, and I'm pretty certain I've took the wrong way. I've just followed the path. I should be up that way, that direction. That's us at Slacks, between the Cairn and Billy, that's the target. I'm not going straight though, we're going, as I said, we're going sort of that way, looping round. I'll show you a view. I should be up there if you can just make the ridge out. I'm sure I should be up that direction. I'm not sure. I may be up there. This is what happens when the visibility is uh is poor. You just you obviously you can't see so everything that normally you just stroll up without thinking. All of a sudden everything becomes you know uh, difficult or more difficult. So, right, what am I going to do? If I head that way, I've actually got quite a long hike to Lock. Well, not that long, but longer than I want to do than out. To be honest, I've got to walk to Lock Humphrey, and then I've still got to find a pitch. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have another wee walk. I'll go walk back down a bit and see if I can see a detour and then my, my option is well my option is to head back home and get the bus back which is an option it's, it looks <laughs> it looks pretty miserable I've nothing to prove with camping out in this weather but as I say I mean my intention was you know if I could find uh, if I could get to the summit of the slacks uh, I know there's a well there's a couple of wee bits that I've pitched it before. Here's my red acto. Matt's in his uh, laser comp. It's 
just after 11, I think. Well, after 11 anyway. 24 minutes past. No, nearly half past 11. This is as dark as it's going to get. But if I can't find the summit of the slacks, then uh, there's, I don't know where else to camp. I mean, I've hiked around these hills maybe 20, I don't know, 24 times, or camped on them 24 times, hiked on them a couple of other times. But uh, you know, it's, just, it's not so easy getting a getting a decent, and I mean a decent pitch. Yeah, kind of camp on that slope. I suppose you could in a mountain see that. I mean, look, that's just stupid. Just be rolling down the hill. Right, I'll get back to you in five minutes. I'm sure I should be up that way. I should be up there somewhere. Never mind, never mind. Snow, folks. Snow. I'm a. I'm in dangerous territory. There's the snow. And there's more mist. It's nearly half five, so that's two hours I've been hiking. There's the edge down there. I shouldn't be near the edge. Uh, yeah, never mind. Unless I've miscalculated and I should have. I don't recognise that bit up here, up there. I mean, I've done the slacks a few times, and that's no. I know this is the this is the path that you go, then you cut down to Loch Humphrey. I'm not that daft. As I say, I just missed the just the visibility, and I missed uh, most. I just missed the path I should have took. I just went up, and I automatically thought, well, I'm up the path. There's only one way up, obviously. <laughs> There isn't, as, as, as I said before, I think there's a there's a wee path that skirts right round the edge. It's a bit dodgy underfoot. I've done that. That's no one you want to do the day. That's down there. You don't want to be falling into the water. And then there's this path, and then there's another one that goes up to the slacks, which I just the visibility is getting worse. I just I can't even see. You know, you can't even see if you look at the back of me. The ridges disappeared, the two ridges that were there. So I think I'm... I'm just thinking about heading home. I'll just sack it. Get a more... Uh, get a better trip for my 100th wild camp, eh? I'm not giving up yet though. I'll, I'll get another... I'll get another half hour. Another half hour, another hour at most. That'll be three hours, so I don't be hiking. I'm just hiking in the mist and the rain for three hours, you know. I don't mind a bit of... Well, I don't mind the, the rain and the mist really, but... The situation is, um, I've got to find a pitch spot. It's not so easy to find a decent one. I mean, obviously, as I keep saying, if it was an emergency, then just pitch there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I'm, I'm actually to try and get something a wee bit, a wee bit more, you know, decent. It's wild camp, no survival, you know. It's a wild, I'm a wild camp, no survivalist. So, try and find a half decent pitch. It's not going to be, it's going to be a pretty long night in the tent anyway. It's going to be another 14 hours, 14 hours in the tent. Just a pity. I didn't think it was going to be as bad as this. I knew it was going to be uh, rain, but I didn't, know, didn't know about the mist and nobody able to find the summit of the slacks. I just thought I'm not going to, I'm not going to get lost doing that. But it just shows you when the visibility is really bad. You just 
you just can't see. I mean, other people, oh, you, you should get here and get there, but you can't see, you can't see. And it's, it's just, that's it, you might as well blindfold yourself. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a bit, see what my final decision is. Right folks, none of you can see, there's a walkway to heading out into the Greenside Reservoir. There's the path. That's where I walked up, and that's, that's the path I walk up. So, I'm a bit, uh, I don't know. Maybe I didn't walk up far enough. That, it's a possibility, I mean, I've had experience of that. In this type of weather, you sort of, if I, you sort of, uh, you, the distances are different. You, you're walking, you think you're walking further than you actually are. I've had that experience before, so I might have done that if I kept going. But I just didn't recognise that, but I just had a feeling I'm not on the right, I'm not on the right path. Right, folks. I've made my decision, I'm just going to head home. What helped me make my decision is just as soon as I switched the camera off, literally I took one step and I slipped. The camera was full of, got full of mud and I'm, I imagine I'm a wee bit dirty at, my, at the back. Well, that was, wasn't too bad. I walked for about another minute and I slipped and this hand, it's a wee bit I think I've, uh, well, I've certainly hurt it a wee bit, it's getting better, I think I just, just bumped it, you know, landed on it, if you know what I mean, slipped in it, but under my rucksack sort of thing, and it, I sort of, certainly felt a wee bit of, a wee bit of pain, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to sack it, I'm not going to walk back up, I'm not going to walk back up there again, I'm just going to head back home, and it's just a bit stupid really. Uh, sitting out, you know, camping out here. As I say, I was... Uh, if, I, if I knew of another pitch spot within half an hour away, I would just happily set up my tent, get in the tent, just have a good rest. But, uh, as you can see, or as you can not see, I'm just wasting my time here. It's better back, head back into my house and finish my, my last Cheeviets video. I've got another Cheeviets video that's just about finished. I think I'll do that rather than just sit in my tent for, I don't know. What's it going to be? Six o'clock? No, about, I don't know, 14, 16 hours sitting in my tent. Nah, I've done that. Nothing to prove, folks. But anyway, I'll catch you. <laughs> I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.